Hello, everyone. Welcome to your English 102 Summer 2020 course. This video is going to provide you with an overview of how to navigate Canvas specifically for our Canvas course shell. Naturally, this class is a research and writing course, so the overall outcome of this class to produce a argumentative research essay by the end of this semester. For all of your assignments, you will be submitting them online, of course, because this is an online class and you will need to have access to a word uh, processing program of sorts, preferably word document, but if there are others, those will work just fine. Or you will be able to type directly into the text box for the actual assignment. It's important to know that all of your assignments are intended to build into each other. In other words, they are all going to serve as building blocks for your final essay. This class is also a four week class and to conduct um, research in four weeks and to produce a seven to 10 page final paper is going to require some dedication, um, uh, some time commitments, and also more importantly, to ensure that you are on your own self about making sure that you are getting things done and doing the work on the side Many of your assignments are going to be connected to a small lecture that will help in understanding the theories and concepts that surround each of the tasks that are going to build into that final essay. So if you are already comfortable with producing an English 102 level argumentative research assignment, of course, naturally you can forego the videos, but it is not recommended. It's important to understand that research sometimes gets um, a different perspective painted by other instructors. So for this class, I have certain expectations that are going to be required in regards to what I expect for your actual final essay. Moreover, I think it's important to explore the different uh, avenues in which you want to approach this writing process. So if you're not 100% comfortable with argumentative research writing, uh, what that means, what that looks like, what the process entails, it's going to be important for you to set time to watch those videos in order to produce the most effective assignment. While you do not have quizzes or tests, because writing is not about quizzing or testing, but being evident that you understand the concepts, it will come out in your written work. So it will be painfully obvious if you don't understand some of the tasks that are being asked um, by me regarding the actual benchmark assignments. With that being said, I really strongly encourage you to look ahead when it comes to this assignment. In other words, there is a calendar that will be provided, one that you can print out or pull up every single time you log on, as well as um, the assignments are listed within the course calendar. As I said before, you want to look ahead, not only planning for what you have to do that day, but also looking ahead for assignments that are due um, and, a couple of days in advance. This is important because it requires not only you to complete the assignment, but taking the time out to actually conduct the research that is important for you to read, analyze, dissect. All of those are going to be important elements when it comes to completing the assignments, but more specifically when it comes to actually producing the most effective argumentative research essay. With that being said, let me go ahead and highlight a few points here in Canvas. And if you have any questions following this video, feel free to send me an email. First, as you know, um, we are an online course. So if there are any questions or if you want to do a quote office hour, I am generally available online from 9 a.m. to noon where I dedicate my time to grading assignments, reading and doing other work that is required by my job. So with that being said, if you send an email through that time, I will be happy to email you back um, most promptly, of course. Outside of that time, um, the email returns will lag a little bit, but nevertheless, if you wish to meet by conference, we do have an online conference tool that you can use and we can schedule a time um, to meet. For those of you who are not familiar where the email is, um, you can simply click on this link here or this link here and it'll take you to the email. Um, I prefer that you email me through Canvas, please. 
Moving on, uh, you have all of your important documents here, your course syllabus, the course schedule. As I said before, the course schedule is going to give you a preview of everything that is going to be required and due for the next four weeks. So as I said before, when you are reviewing the calendar, you want to look ahead. So all of the assignments will be here and they will correspond to the assignments that are listed in the Canvas uh, course calendar. Okay. From there, you have the grade contract. The grade contract is not going to be covered in this video, but there is a video that will provide you an overview of what the grading system will be like in this course. It explains what you're looking at as far as this chart is concerned and all other pertinent details to understand how the assignments will be graded. But in short, there are no grades for each individual assignments, only marked as complete or incomplete with uh, positions to revise. We are an ongoing class. In other words, things are not just completely finished, meaning that if something is not right, it is imperative that you get it right. So giving you a poor grade does not make you get it right. So you will continue to do assignments until it is done correctly. Otherwise, you will not produce an effective argumentative research essay. Furthermore, you have resources here that will provide you with some information regarding um, different aspects of the writing process. Um, things like how to determine what sources to use as far as evidence is concerned or sourced material, uh, developing research questions, uh, verbs, Monroe model, all of these aspects that are going to play a role in the different layers of developing an argumentative research essay. Please take the time to look at some of those sources. I will also be pointing them out. Um, from time to time in the lecture videos, as well as highlighting and linking them directly to certain assignments because they might be useful in achieving um, the completion of that assignment. All your PowerPoints will be located here, but most importantly, you have your modules. Your modules basically breaks down the different weeks for the most part and what we're gonna be covering. So you can see here, um, module one is really just the introductory stuff. So you have four major weeks that are gonna cover these aspects. Once you click on these, it's going to take you to all the lecture videos that revolve around those particular concepts. And then you will have all of the assignments that are directly linked to these topics as well as the lecture videos and um, simply once you um, once you click on each one and some of the assignments you'll notice that you will have the assignment description and everything is done in detail as well as any pertinent links and or videos that might follow uh, along with some of these concepts as well okay when you're ready to submit assignments, you'll just simply click on submit assignments and you'll be able to add a file here and that is it, okay? When it comes time to the remainder of the semester, so in other words, the last uh, two weeks, that is generally when we're gonna be working directly with your drafts. And so when you get to that point of your drafts, it's gonna require you to work in your peer groups you have already been assigned and so all of the information will be available when that time comes. Nevertheless, you will have to read each other's work and all of that is detailed and described in the actual assignments um, list here, okay? Now, if you have any questions as always, uh, feel free to let me know, but um, for the most part, if you can just follow along through the calendar, follow your to-do list, uh, review the lecture videos, look ahead, as I said before, be diligent about time constraints um, and planning accordingly for this class. It moves very quickly. And um, I encourage you that if you have questions, please, please, please email me as soon as possible so that way we can address them. In short, each day really serves as a few days in one, okay? So uh, good luck. I'm looking forward to reading your work and I will see you at the start of the semester.